I want to talk about one of my favorite toys that we have on display this summer. This is a little rocking chair. It was made by Hancock Associates, uh, a company that was in Hancock, New Hampshire, uh, manufacturing wooden toys in the 1970s. So the company began in the 1970s. Robert and Marilyn Kirstead partnered with Jack and Sue Roper, and they opened a, a place where they could make woodenware uh, toys, and also they were selling handcrafted items. So you might find a Raggedy Ann doll or baskets or artwork in their store as well. So they were mostly making doll furnishings. You might find um, or child easel to do artwork, but you could get your telephone, a dollhouse, ironing boards, things like that. And also um, popular with, with some of the little boys in the community could be race cars, trucks gas station, filling stations, and even lawnmowers. So um, it's pretty interesting. This is the only toy that we actually have on display from the company. It was actually really hard to find examples of toys. Um, we know they were making blocks as educational toys, and they're still a set of blocks in use in the region in a preschool. Uh, so we did not take those toys away from those kids. Uh, but we were able to borrow this from uh, Robert and Marilyn Kirsten's daughter, who uh, generously loaned it. And this is my favorite item in our toy exhibit right now. So this little rocking horse was the smallest of three sizes that were made by the company. Uh, the company made a doll size that you see here. They also made this version as a child size, so a little kid could rock. And they also made the daddy size, which was large enough that a six foot man could ride this rocking horse comfortably. Um, we heard tale that there was one in a pediatrician's office locally. So while kids were being seen by the doctor, parents waiting out in the waiting room could rock on their rocking horse while they waited. Uh, we would love to find the daddy size rocking horse of this Hancock Associates. Um, toy. So interesting playthings made in the area um, and we have over a hundred on display in our toy exhibit through the summer of 2020.